originally this was made for a digger bucket. It's a hardened piece of steel. And this would have been the front edge. And I think it's an ideal shape for bending metal over on. So that used to be one piece which I've cut in half. I welded these two plates onto this piece. And that will stand that way up. So that'll form the bottom jaw of the folder. And that will be the top jaw. And the metal will get bent over that front edge. These holes here were already in the steel. Uh, they would have been used for bolting this piece onto the digger. The reason I'm making this folder is I've got quite a few brackets to make and uh, I can't bend them on me on my other folder. I need a space up the side here for part of the bracket the brackets I'm making. Uh, part of the bracket will have to fit up the side here whilst I'm bending another part of the bracket. Same on the other side. Making it all out of steel that's left over from other jobs. So to create this space up the side here that I need, I've made a spacer to go there. I've made this spacer out of two pieces which I've stitch welded together. So that gives me a, a 16 mil gap up the side here. And then a steel plate I've made will get bolted through that. So that's the gap I've got, which is a 16 mil gap. Gives a bit of clearance. And then another spacer. So that'll fit there. Another plate I've made, that will go there, they'll be bolted together, and the same on the other side. Spacer there. This is all 8mm thick steel, been laid around here. Be bolted there. So in these other spaces here, this is where the bending arm will fit into and that will pivot up like that. And these holes here are the pivot holes. So now I've got to make the bits that fit in here. There will be some um, spacers and bushes. welded two lugs on the back here and I shall be bolting a piece of angle iron across here and uh, there will be a backstop adjustment from the back of the top jaw to the angle iron so when the metal is getting bent over this top jaw the adjustment stops 
will stop the jaw from getting pushed backwards and also it'll give me a, a bit of forward and backward adjustment for different metal thicknesses at the front here. I'm hoping to be able to bend three millimeters on this if possible. You'll be asking too much to bend a full length of three millimeter. So these back spaces will stop the top jaw from getting pushed backwards. So all I need to do is hold top jaw down. So I've got a couple of options for that. I think for this job I'm doing next, I'll just put some heavy duty G clamps. Clamp the jaw down. For the back stops, I'm going to be using some long nuts. They'll get welded on the back there. And then there will be a threaded rod into that with a lock nut here and then another nut, two lock nuts at the back here up against the angle line. That's what I'm thinking of doing. These are plated, I'll have to just machine the, the plating off and get it square as soon as I can weld it on. So the two bending arms will pivot in here. There'll be two bronze bushes in these gaps. Pivot pins will be 10.9 grade high tensile steel M12 with a countersunk head. There's going to be a lot of force on these. So there'll be a sleeve on, on the pin and then the bush will fit over the sleeve and then the arm will fit around the bush. Right, that's the uh, two housings made. The bush will get pressed into there. Now I've got to make the sleeves that um, fit around the pins. So that'll be in there. 
and the bending arm will get welded onto that. That's the two spaces made. That set screw is a snug fit through the middle. And the bush on top. The spacer is about a millimetre longer than the bush. So the spacer will get clamped in there with the bush around it. So that'll get bolted in in there. That'll get tightened up and the brush is free to rotate. So now I need to get the bending arms made and they'll be welded to the bearing housings.